Hey guys, Darren here, and I thought I would give you guys a little video review of the MIMO 710S uh, little mini monitor, and figured I'd explain kind of why I got myself this uh, new toy, and that is because editing. For the last, uh, well actually since the very beginning of the seventh season, every episode of Hack 5 has been edited on this laptop. This is the, um, I keep getting questions about this, the Asus. UL 30A X5. It's got a it's got a really awesome chipset in there that actually allows me to edit AVC HD not horribly, as you can see here. Um, I'll go ahead and start playing. Identify malware anyway. Yeah, I'll mute that. Malware itself is. And yes, I am pegging it pretty hard, but the video is running rather smooth, and I'm actually able to go ahead and get a little editing done, which is fantastic. I mean, the fact that I've gotten um, all of the episodes of the seventh season done on this computer, um, you know, speaks loops and bounds. Now, I have been dealing with some, some trouble with, uh, with the HDMI port, um, and, uh, and what I was using before was uh, that great big 42-inch over there as my second monitor, so I didn't have all of this up here right now, but... Uh, but the HDMI is giving me some trouble going in and out, so um, so I'm basically just back to using just the laptop screen. It's a 1366 by 768, 13 inch. Uh, so rather cramped here in Premiere. You can see my interface is absolutely cluttered. This is the only little bit I have for my timeline, and you know it's it's not a uh, not a simple timeline either. I've got plenty of audio and video going on here. Um, so I went ahead and picked up the MIMO 710S as kind of an outboard monitor. This is a USB powered outboard monitor. There's nothing to it. It uh, just folds up into its own little thing. I like that it's got protective case here and uh, it's just mini USB to single USB. It, it does come with a double just in case you don't give enough power off one port, but I'm giving it plenty of power here. And I figured that uh, that since play one ended here. Since uh, for the foreseeable few, well, for the next eight weeks at least, I am, um, well, I'm gearing up in about 30 days. I'm leaving on this awesome trip, Hack Across America. So everything's going to be in boxes, and even when I'm on the road, I'm still going to need to edit and, uh, and deliver episodes to you guys, and I cannot deal with this. So I hate bringing extra kit on a trip, but seven inches, it's not so bad. I'll just go ahead and uh, throw that in my my tank bag and uh, and hopefully it will save me some trouble when it comes to editing. So I put together a little profile here and I figured I would show you the software because I know what you're thinking. Dude, that's a USB monitor. It's a software monitor, so isn't it going to absolutely kill your system performance? So I figured I'm going to get to a little complex bit here in the timeline and show you how bad it actually does and then uh, some of the modes that will actually make it a little bit better. So. Let's see, I got a section here where we do a cross fade and then we got a bunch of clips and stuff. So, all right, pull up task manager. Oops. Okay, and as you can see, you know, just doing wrong, nothing, nothing crazy happening here. And let's go ahead and play this clip. And yeah, you get that glare off the screen. You can see it's playing pretty smooth. I'm hitting uh, 93%, 92, 91, yeah. It's in the low 90s, and that's to be expected. Now, this is raw AVC HD, you know, coming right off the camera. Um, I haven't done any transcoding, so, you know, a lot of times now I'll transcode everything to MPEG-2, but it takes a little bit longer in the, in the setup. Um, so this is, you know, what you would find right off of a consumer <clears throat> or even a prosumer uh, HD camera now. And, yeah, that, that was... Pretty hardcore, but you see I got a little bit of room to spare. So let's uh, lo load up my profile here where we're actually going to use the MIMO monitor. All right, let's see if I can position that a bit better. All right, now you can see. Oh my gosh, my my uh, my clip here. I've I've absolutely plenty of space. See if I can find my sequence again. Where'd my sequence go? Hmm. 
How did I lose my sequence? Oh, come on. We'll do it this way. Main timeline and double click on my sequence. There we go. And you can see now I've got plenty of room to deal with all of these crazy clips. You know, I've got a couple of preset effects here, but everything else, you know, I've, I've got um, my clip, my source here. I can play with my source. I can do all my trimming there. And then I've got the sequence monitor. And let's go ahead and play the same clip and see what kind of performance difference we're going to see. All right, so. Here's the part in the timeline where we've got a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on. Pull up the task manager again. And I'll see if I can maybe move this over here. All right. So this is just in the default mode. I haven't tweaked the drivers or done anything like that. And we're playing the video. You can see it's a little bit more jumpy. Uh, in fact, we have hit 100%. So before it was, you know, 93. We didn't have a whole lot of latitude there with the CPU, but it was just able to do it. And now it's just not. It's um, it's it's rather jerky. So thankfully, um, the video drivers that come with this for the software video card, software monitor, if you will. All right. Has um, has some pretty cool tweak options here. One in particular that's rather important to me is if you right-click on the little doodad, you get um, optimized for video. All right, what does that do? So let's play that clip again. Let's see, I was pegging a hundred percent. Backtrack here and play it again. Well, it's smoother, hitting 100%. But, as you can see from the video here, it's not absolutely horrible. And, I mean, this is a complex sequence here. I've got, you know, effects going on. I've got lots of audio, lots of video, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I, that was just me pausing it. But, uh, but there we go. Now, what I noticed, though, and I, I doubt this is going to show up in YouTube, but... Um, and this is not the lens for this. This is just my using my uh, droid here. Uh, but when I go ahead and play, everything. Oh yeah, you can t you can see in the text. Okay, and I pause, and then it comes back. You see how this white, you know, it's it's. Well, let me just tell you, it's rather crisp. And then when I hit play, yeah. What happens is it basically goes into like low res mode, where um, <clears throat> um, it's like quarter resolution, so everything gets blocky, but whatever, dude, I'm like sitting this far back, I'm just using it as a uh, preview monitor, um, and it, nowadays I'm not using AVC HD as much, or if I am, I'm transcoding to um, to MPEG-2 first, so actually, like, uh, Shannon's segment is a better example of that, because she's shooting with Vados, and, uh, and there's her segment. Oh, this is nice, having a great big timeline to deal with, oh yeah, love this. All right, so you know when I go ahead and do her playback, it's absolutely smooth, and task manager is telling me, yeah, see, oh wait, I'm not playing anymore. No wonder. <laughs> and yeah, I've got a little bit of room left. Anyway, um. Almost out of time on video, so I hope that kind of gives you an idea. This is, again, the MIMO UM710S. Uh, pick it up at Amazon for like 100 bucks or so, and hopefully that will uh, make my kit actually usable when it comes to editing video on the fly while I hackacrossamerica.com. Check it out.